Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name's Peter Hutton. I'm the principal in charge of strategic development at Templestowe College. Uh, it's great to see so many of you here, uh, including many familiar faces and people making great change in education. Uh, contrary to popular opinion, we do have some, some uh, rules at TC. It's not a free-for-all. Uh, unfortunately, most of those rules actually uh, involve the staff. So we have something called the 10-minute talking rule. If you ask students one of the, what's the biggest frustration at school, often it's that the teacher just drones on and on and on. And so uh, in response to that, we have a 10-minute talking rule. So the staff are now not allowed to talk continuously for more than 10 minutes uh, without breaking it up into, um, into some form of activity. So for me, five minutes tonight is going to prove quite a challenge. Uh, I, I uh, had the pleasure of co-presenting with a, with a professor whose name I will not uh, mention, uh, who said that whilst we need change, we cannot throw the, ba the baby out with the bathwater. Uh, at this point, I almost gagged, and uh, when it was my turn to get to the microphone, I said, throw that baby on the ground, tip that bathtub over, because the kid is drowning. Okay, and I think we have reached the point where education, certainly in schools, is no longer fit for purpose. And if that baby gets a few sort of abrasions by flying along the floor, so be it. But the kid is actually drowning and we need to do something uh, about it. We hear percentages like 74% of students finishing uh, their, their 13 years of schooling. What does that mean, 74%? Well, I'll tell you, it means 81,000 individual stories of beautiful failures. 81,000 students each year do not go on to complete their secondary education. Now that's an interesting uh, statistic, but for each one of those 81,000 people, that, that's somebody's son, daughter, niece, nephew. That's actually horrendous. And that's a statistic that doesn't change too much. So we're actually continuing, and certainly in this state, even though our uh, completion rate is, is 81%, we, we are saying that in some ways that system is still has an acceptable failure rate and I don't believe that it is. That also doesn't include uh, the people like Lucy's daughter because she's not one of those 81,000. She actually made it through the system. She doesn't even feature in that statistic. Imagine how many kids do go on to complete their 13 years but still come out feeling like failures. Now at TC or Templestowe College, we did have an opportunity to change. We were the school of last resort. We were down to 286 students, 23 year sevens. This, or last year we had 620 students, this year 820, next year 1,020. But, you know, why, why did this occur? Well, for a start, we decided that we would stop doing education to students and actually put them in charge of their own education. We decided to break down all the sort of hierarchies that we have in the school and we have something called the one person policy. So it doesn't matter if you're the principal, it doesn't matter if you're a first year out teacher, the person that, uh, that mans the library desk or reception, it doesn't matter if you're 18, 13 or any of those combinations. Each person is a human being and, and they are afforded the same level of respect irregardless of your age or your particular role within our community. What does that look like? We have no year levels. Each student has their own individualised learning plan. There are no compulsory subjects. If, some, if a student doesn't like something about the school, they actually have the opportunity to change it. It's pretty hard to be uncomfortable and, and disappointed in a system when you're actually the one that's in control of it. We have something called the yes is the default response. So we might not even like it, but if any staff, student or parent has a request or a suggestion, the answer has to be yes. Unless to do so is going to take too much time, too much money or negatively impact on someone else. So what to the future? We've tried for the past two years to share our model of education with other schools. And to be honest, with one or two exceptions, like Mount Alexander College, which is an outstanding school in Flemington, we haven't had much of a take-up amongst educators. And I'm not 100% sure of what that is, but there are a lot of vested interests in the existing system, and the system itself is being run by people who largely experienced success under that model. So 
I guess my challenge to you tonight is we cannot wait for education to change itself. There are too many vested interests that will delay and impede that change. And in my mind, it's only when parents of those students who are beautiful failures actually stand up and say to the politicians, this is not acceptable any longer. And I can't do any more. The, the response is really over to parents and those students who are, who are in that position to, put, to lobby and actually insist that there is a change being made because our current system isn't acceptable. Thank you very much. Thank you.